Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another Mapper Lab tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this tutorial, we're going to learn a little bit about how to configure and format the tickers and the grid lines. So here's the so here's an example that we'll be doing and within this uh Mapplot figure. So you can see that uh, my ticker, so I have so we're going to learn how to format the ticker, which is the here's the uh, x axis ticker and here's the y axis ticker. And as well as how to apply the, the gray lines, how to change the color, set the the language and so on. Now let's go ahead and import the the libraries. So from the map plot oops, my plot match plots love.pipla. I'm going to name that as PLT. And from the map love take module. I'm going to import the multiple locator function. So this function picks access lemma and ticks that are multiple of the base that which I'll be showing in example shortly. So for now, uh, so let me just import all the libraries for now. If I run it's okay. And here I'm going to create my uh, figure object. And I'll set my figure size eight by six. And I'll create my axis object. So here I'm going to set my axis uh, range between. 0 and 12 for the y-axis and the 0 and 10 for the uh, sure 0 and 12 for the x-axis and the 0 to 10 for the y-axis now if we just graph the, the graph and this is what we have so far so this is a very uh, plain uh, graph and here we don't have any grid lines applied and the text uh, is basically by default it's showing the, the major uh, text and we're going to learn how to configure text value as well as apply the, the gray lines uh, to your graph. Now to configure the, the text so here we want to take our want to take our axis object and for the x axis you want to call the x axis uh, property. So I'll make a copy and I'll change the, the X to Y. So that'll be referencing to the Y axis. And to set the major uh, ticker, so I want to use the set major locator uh, method. And here I want to use the multiple locator function to set up base. And I want to set my base uh, to 3. So 3.0 is my base. And for the y-axis, I want to set my base to, let's see, let's set my base to 2. And if I graph the, the graph this time, so here uh, for my major ticker, the, uh, each interval is between um, 3. So 3, 6, 9, 12, which is the, the range of uh, the x-axis. And for the y-axis, I set my uh, interval as 2. So between each uh, major ticker value, uh, the difference is 2. And for the uh, minor uh, text, so here I can actually just make a copy of these two lines. And this will be minor text. I want to replace the, the keyword major to minor. And here we'll follow the same step. So I'll set the base to just uh, 0.2 for both of them. And if I show the graph, so here um, we get the, so here's the major ticker, 2, 4, X, A, 10, and between uh, each major tickers, inside our, our minor tickers. So here between uh, each minor ticker, the value is uh, 0.2. Okay, and that's for the the uh, the text configuration. Now let's go ahead and uh, apply the the gray lines. 
So to apply the, the grid lines, it's actually pretty easy. So here, let me grab the, uh, the documentation real quick. So from the uh, mapperlib.axis.axis.grid uh, method, so here are the parameters. Um, so B is the, so B is whether you want to show the grid lines uh, or not. So by default, uh, the default is false. And but if you want to, but when you apply any value to the parameter, the default automatically is set to two. So actually, let me go back. So the, uh, there are actually quite a few uh, parameters and or properties. So I'll, I'm, I'm not going to go to uh, each one of them since there are way too many. But I'll, I'll be showing you the uh, the ones that I use generally to create the, the grid lines. And I'll post the link in the description as well. So in case if you need to go back and reference the documentation. So in general, when I apply the grid lines, I'll use the which parameter, which indicating if I want to apply the grid lines to the uh, the major grid lines or minor grid lines. And I'm, I'm going to apply that to the major. And next is the axis. I want to apply this to the x axis. And for the line width, I'm going to set that to one. And the line style, so since we want just like, like a straight line, so we're going to use the, the hyphen uh, symbol. And next is the color. So for the color, you can use any color you want. So for the um, for the x uh, axis major uh, grid lines. I'm going to use lime as my, my color. And alpha is the opacity. So I'll set the opacity to 0.5, which is 50%. I'm going to just make a copy and I'll change this to Y axis. And I'll leave everything as it is, uh, except that I'll change the color. So I'll change that to red. Now to apply the, the minor gray lines, so I'll make a copy and we'll just change the which uh, value to from major to minor. And this time I'm going to use the color uh, fire brick and for both. And that's it. So if I uh, display the graph and here's basically uh, the final result. So on the outside we have the ticks, we have the tickets and inside is our grid lines. So I shouldn't use red. So let me change that to uh, to green. Okay, so that looks a little bit better, but you get the idea. Here we have the minor grid lines, which is between 0.2 distance. And for the major uh, grid lines, uh, the distance is between based on your uh, your value from the set major locate, locator uh, parameter. So that's everything I have to share with you guys in this video. Just something very basic to configure and uh, format the grid lines in the tickets. And as always, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.